I'm here with the Everheart Girls today, and we're going to teach you how to do theme dinners with kids. Our theme dinner today is what? A. A. S. And what? K. 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 We're going to be stuffing the letters A, S, and K, and we're going to plan an entire dinner around it. We're going to make centerpieces and placemats, and then all of our food and our menu is going to be based on these letters, and even what we wear is going to be based on our letters of the day, A, S, and K. All right, here we go. We're going to do first, we're going to do our letters, and our letters that we have, we have outlined them, and we're going to cut them out. So what is the A for? Abigail! So what's the S for? Sophia! What's the K for? Jo Kelsey! Yes, very good. Okay, so we're going to cut these out, and this is going to be our centerpiece, which we're actually going to hang from the light. You could make a little triptych centerpiece to put in the middle, or however you want to do it, as long as you're using your letters, it doesn't matter how you do it. And let's, don't touch the scissors, be sure to keep the dangerous stuff out of the reach of the young ones. We're also going to put do placemats. Everybody's going to work on their letters. Sophia's going to do S. Kelsey will do K, and Abigail will do A. And we're going to do different ways about that, and I'll show you in just a minute. There you go. And we're cutting the letter K out. Now we're going to decorate our letters. So we're going to take some fluffy tissue paper, and you can decorate them any way you want to. But since these are our centerpiece, we're going to take some tissue paper in different shapes, and we're just going to glue them to the letters, just to make them look nice and fancy. Yeah, we're not going to cut. We'll just glue. You don't need scissors. Okay, so here we go. Here's your glue. Kelsey, you use your glue stick. I can't hold. Don't cut that, baby. Then you can't be in it. Okay, use your glue stick. Okay, so here you go. I can do it. I'm going to show you how, then you do it. Put your glue stick in, then take a piece of paper. Kelsey, what's your letter? K. Very good. Abigail, what's your letter? K. <laughs> Sophia, what's your letter? Do you have a letter? My kids are busy decorating the centerpiece. I can get in the kitchen and get some dinner maids that they're now occupied. Okay, and once you get your letters finished up, we're going to start on the placemats. And what we're doing, kind of the eldest, you can pick the tasks based on their age. Abigail here is going to cut out pictures that start with the letter A. So when she finds a picture and she knows that it starts with an A, she'll cut that out Mama. to put onto her placemat. And Sophia, what are you cutting out over here? Are you cutting out words? What words are you cutting out? What letter do they start with? Sophia's cutting out words that start with the letter S. And then that's what I was trying to say. That's what you're trying to say. Okay. And she's going to put those on her placemat. And then when it's Kelsey's turn, I have some, um, when it's Kelsey's turn, I have some stamps. Um, one has the letter A and one has the letter K. And we're going to draw an S because we don't happen to have an S stamp. And she's just going to stamp around it to get familiar with the letter. And we'll probably draw some letters A and let her practice on that. Maybe she can trace it. So these will be our placemats. So we're going to get to work on this. So, yeah. okay, so what are you doing here? I'm drawing pictures that start with A. The letter A, very good. Okay, so you have R, and then you cut you out of the magazine. I'll see, I see apples and a block with the letter A on it. Very good, because that's your letter. Sophia, what are you doing over here? Are you gluing on words that start with what letter? S. S, very good. And why S? Why S. is S your letter? I still wish your first name, right? it starts in my first name. I still wish you Very good. And what are you doing? Are you doing lots of letters? What letters do you have? K, S, and A? Sophia. Yes, S starts with Sophia. And, Very and good. And for Abigail. Here's for Chelsea. I'm making a menu based on all letters. Letters S, mm -hmm. A, S, and K. Very good. So what starts with A? Asparagus and apple. Yep. yep. Apple cobbler. Is it no, more? I'm just saying apples. Okay. And then apple cobbler. Oh, okay. All righty. Apples. Okay. And what starts with S? Strip bites. And strawberries. Strawberries. And what starts with K? Kiwi and ketchup. We have our middle done. We have our letters A, S, and what's our last letter, girls? K! K. Very good. And now we're going to shape breadsticks into letters. But first we're going to go to the garden and cut some basil to sprinkle on our breadsticks. Off we go. Come on, guys. It's hot We've on your fresh feet. fresh basil. We've got green onions and a little nice. bit of dill that we're going to sprinkle on our breadsticks. All right, now we've got some bread dough, and we're going to roll this into letter shapes. Just roll it like it's Play-Doh. Just roll it out as long as you can make it. And we're going to make it into our three letter shape. I'll make Abby a letter. Pull it out. Okay. Now, that's part of the K, and then oh, here's the letter K. That one will be K. Let me get some more dough. As small as you can, and just push it into the letters, and then we'll sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. I push so mine in the letters. Nice and colorful and tasty. There you go. Now can I sprinkle Parmesan cheese? A little bit. You just get it with your hands. So we get a pinch in your hands so everybody has a chance to get some. There you go. Let's let Kelsey do it too. <gasps> oh, and Mommy put it all over the letters. Here, Kelsey, you want to put some Parmesan cheese on there? 
Not in your I, mouth. I don't. I didn't get a piece of it. You didn't get a piece. Here you go. You got some basil right there. Here, get some Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle it on. Sprinkle it on the letters. There we go. And some flour. There you go. And that. Go ahead. Oh. Sprinkle it on. <laughs> Oh yeah, that goes in your mouth, and a lot of your ingredients are going to go in the mouth. As long as they're going to be cooked, not so bad. Okay, good job. Let's put it in the oven. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Keep the kids away from the oven. You put the stuff in. They can do the cold stuff, but not the hot stuff. And we have our letters. We have the K. Let's see. On another K, look at our breadsticks. Some of them turned out to look like letters. Some not so much. S. Uh, K. Hey, you can kind of work on that. <laughs> Maybe you should get the kids to do it. Sometimes they do a better job. And we have your plate. And what do we have on here, Abigail? We have slaw. For what letter? S. And strawberry. For S. Applesauce. Applesauce. Is what letter? A. And over here we have whatever here for A. Apple pie. Apple pie. And then we have, do we already do our shrimp for S? Then we decorate it with ketchup, and then here are our little breadsticks. There's the letter K. During dinner, you can do all kinds of other stuff. If you want to do some little alliterative rhymes with the words that you put in here. Um, Sophia went to a show for safety to see a stunning spread. Just use the words and teach them what the letters are about, or you can do a little crossword puzzle if your kids are older, using their letters. I'm older. You are older, so you can do like something like that. Like seven and eight years old. I'm older than ketchup. And you're older, too. And you have ketchup, and you're eating her ketchup, which starts with what? Ketchup. K. Say K for ketchup. K. Yeah, I eat ketchup. Very good. So that's our deal with theme dinners for kids. Hope you had a good time.